this one maybe? Nope. Wrong. I'm just wondering if, like, if maybe I've done the stuff for this, or maybe I can find the book for the guy, or, you know. Pretty sure the guy said, ah, oh, yeah, get the book off of... ...name of this boss's first part here. Was there a book here somewhere? No. Oh well. Sent to the mother's lull. Of the lulls. Then I woke up, and it was all a reality. So this guy, the first time, gave me that weird item. Then I ended up killing that character because she tried to attack me. And then question mark? Like, using the lantern in here does not help because this is already that world. This bridge literally seems to lead to nowhere and I can't target this bit. Or at least I don't know how to from the same side, just like you spins your camera around, resets it, doesn't seem to do the thing. This guy won't talk to me anymore. The only thing it looks like you can do is just exit, which is just stupid. Like, didn't I want to do anything here? Maybe there's some way you can Help out the creepy blue people if you want to do a creepy blue people playthrough. The only other thing I can think of doing is jumping off of that side down to that rock. That 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 doesn't seem helpful. I don't think I can even target this from down on that rock, which is the only reason I'd want to jump down. It's weird. Really weird. There we go. I just thought I'd come back here just in case I had the right item, object, person spoken to, or whatever. But I didn't. How many um, prawns do I have these days? 20. Is that enough to buy? Yeah, that was enough to buy one of the uh, daggers out of the shop. Honestly, I don't see any other lootable items here. I'm already in the uncle. Meh. I'll figure it out, New Game Plus. Fellas, please, I was just talking to your boss. Don't try and, you know, kill me. I'm assuming that great big pile of eyes is the boss. Right. 
Upgrade equipment. Nope, that's too early. Walk to prestige the sky rest. Buy the special boss daggers. Or one of them. And then try and upgrade. I guess it depends which hand the game thinks this is. To me, because it's on the left on the menu, this is the left hand. But if you look on the character, it's the right hand, and some games have the main hand be your right hand, and then they put it on the left because they say it's your main, because a lot of people are right-handed. But, uh, yeah, okay. So I want to buy the left hand. I didn't want anything off the king, did I? No. Left hand, light reaper dagger. Here we go. So stupid that there's a left and right hand. They have the same stats. I don't think this is going to turn out better than my other thing, but let's go. Shame that Galinda now hates me. Now all of her stuff is double price. So this one's at 310 at plus 10. Maybe. Maybe it'll catch back up. I don't know. I guess we'll have to keep on trying. Good place to get some... Heavy, uh, upgrade whatever's is over here.
Get out of it. Pilfered coins, but no upgrade bits. <laughs> I can't rest here now, of course, because I don't have the thing. Let's go see if Judge Cleric's feeling any better. Just hanging out. It's fine. Uh, the only other guys that were dropping large delirium chunks were the people at the area that I'm I'm in. But that's kind of nasty. Over there. Yeah, let's do it though. Get buffing statues out of here. Large delirium. Damage for the next upgrade, though. Jeez. Really might catch up with my other weapon. Oh, oh. Uh, rather than rest it, I should probably go fight the other one that's over here, and you know, do a bit of a do a bit of a trip, I guess. Sad if he had hit me. After all of that time, charging the charged attack for it to just ricochet off the stupid wall. 
I would never love fighting this guy. What an annoyance. Get out of here. Ah, oh, I didn't even drop me a, an awesome chunk. Dropped me a fail nothing. I don't think I've ever seen one of these from a large chunk. Too incorporeal for uh, cool upgrade materials. Floor's got my money, either either. Key down. Whoops, that was all me. Yay, the Wraith doesn't have it, it's just on the floor. That makes things kinda. Stone pear? Come on, I wanted the, the chunk. Why can't you be cool? Why'd you have to be uncool, dude? Wait, whoa, what? Lever? Oh, it's for the portcullis. Yep, yep. M me remember now. Me remember. Oh, no, no, I'm Sky. Boo. Yeah, I look at this, and instead of upgrading the dagger, instead of spending the money on Galinda, instead of doing any of that, might as well just take the freaking level up. Seriously. Look at that, there's loads more damage. From a bonus of 47 to 255. From a bonus of 46 to 151. Let's go. Yeah. That was that was most of the souls spent as well. Let's go try the Adir boss again. With armor on, with trying. With not listening quite so much to the guy if there's any combat going. I was really curious about what he had to say. I kept on getting shot by his boys while he was saying stuff. Ooh. 
Yeah, you can put a save point there. I'm seriously considering that. to open your eyes to their manipulations. To millennia of shameful distortions of the truth. For eons, I stood as mankind's guardian, shepherding them with wisdom and love. Yet in return, I was betrayed. Those three power-hungry malefactors who declared themselves judges turned my own children against me. And waged a terrible war of needless slaughter. The judges and their crazed followers butchered those who remained loyal to me. And when I created the Rogar as a means to put an end to the madness, they too were no match for the heathen forces. In the end, even I fell. Although the judges found themselves unable to kill a god, despite their best efforts. In a world left blackened and corpse choked by their crusade, the judges banished me to this barren realm, which has served as my prison ever since. I'm only getting credit for the ones with the mark on them. Set about ruling themselves. Like this guy. Free from the divine oppression of which they accused me. And yet, how often time passed before the judges themselves were raised to the status of demigods. Figures of worship, their real ambition all too clear. Yet an outcome, the people deluded themselves into believing a triumph. How much blood has been spilled in their names since my banishment? I Far don't love this fight. Ever spilled in my name. And now, after all the time mankind have had to shape their own destiny, see what they have made of it. War. Hatred, suffering, chaos. They believed they were capable of guiding themselves, but have been proven sorely mistaken. Mankind needs me now more than ever. I don't need your fireball throwing guys there now more than ever. And what of other beings who claim godhood? Where are they? What of Aureus and the abhorrent umbral creature? They are cowards hiding in foresight and obfuscating shadow. Seemingly unworthy of their presence, their communion. And yet here I stand before you with true words and open arms. And fire I love all of my children, even the wayward ones. You gotta, you gotta be kidding me, bro. Listen to me. You must stop this before you allow yourself to condemn all of mankind for eternity. I am not your enemy, only what my own enemies fear. Ah! The loss of the dominion they have established for themselves in my absence. Cease your misguided by the hubris of humanity. Now. 
It's not my violence, bro. You're throwing down fireball guys at me. I didn't do nothing. I wanted to listen to your dialogue. And you're torching me down here. Ooh. Jeez. I'm sure they could find some better performance for this level or whatever's going on. I feel like the way to do this is to like find a corner, very little line of sight for the, the enemy guys to use, block any fireballs, try and get that health back with the rally system. The, the problem there is that the little the stupid little dot they constantly leave on the floor, like how, how am I supposed to deal with that? You can't actually difficult. As soon as you take the hit from the dot, you lose. Judges themselves were raised. 